Tap, tap, tap in collective. This is God's Major Oracle. I'm Major Oracle. We're just going to step right into it. I got the hangman I, on the reverse, which is the number 12 in the Major Arcana. I also have the Five of Cups. This is a Lost card. And I also have the Ace of Cups. Now, past, present, future. That's what this reading is about. In the past, you was discontent with this situation, disinterested, stagnation, impulsiveness. This was a negative situation. This was a negative pattern, a uh, detachment. This is somebody that you had to basically use your intuition. This is the third eye chakra card. Now, we also have the five of cups on the reverse. It says moving forward, moving on, accepting, accepting help, healing, forgiveness, rejoining the world. Now we also have the Ace of Cups, new beginnings, relationship, new romance, new love, happiness, joy, acceptance, fertility, pregnancy. Pregnancy could also represent your birthing a new idea, celebration, socializing. Um, an upsurge in new feelings. In the past, you was going through it with somebody. This situation wasn't moving in the right direction, in the direction that you wanted it to move in. But you have new beginnings coming forward. Why? Because this person stood stagnant and wanted to keep you stagnant. Now I have no over here, but on the reverse and no over here on the reverse and yes over here upright so whatever the situation is is yes you need to move forward whatever you're thinking is yes is this person cheating yes is is this person lying yes is this situation gonna get better i really personally don't think so why because it says you have new beginnings and you have new beginnings in love for a lot of you, you thought this was your person. But this is the divine telling you that this was not the person for you. And if they were in the past, they're no, they no longer are. Okay? Now, the hangman and the five of cups together tell us that there's a situation that we were dealing with in the past that wasn't good for us. At some of us, we didn't see that that situation wasn't good for us. But the divine has been giving you signs. And for a lot of you, you got to believe people what they show you. So if they show you a negative side to them, believe that. Because that's who they really are. Okay? We also have here on the bottom of the deck was the devil card. Now the devil card says addiction, depression, mental health issues, ego, um... Absentee, cheating, dependency, bondage. You was bonded to this person in one way or another. You could have lived with this person. You could have children with this person. You spend a long time with this person. But this person didn't value you. If you're wondering if this person has cheated, yes, they have. Now, a sex played a big role in this situation for some of you. It's not all. Why? Because this person did not know how to control themselves. We have powerlessness and hopelessness. This is how this person left you feeling. We, it also says abuse and violence and assault. YouTube trigger warning. This is an 18-plus channel because um, we never know what the cards are going to say. Now, we also have here finding it hard to let go. The power of negative thinking. You have to stop thinking negatively. Or even, let's say the what ifs. What if that person comes back? What if that person gets better? What if that person stops cheating? What if that person stops lying? Those what ifs are also negative thinking. The number 12 and the number 15 could be significant to you. Now the number 15... Add that together, that's a six. Break it down, that's a three. That's the Holy Trinity. 
and you add two and one together, that's three again. You could be seeing three, 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 three. We also have the fool here. You was very foolish in this in situation, but you was innocent. For a lot of you, you're starting to feel your freedom because you're starting to feel like yourself again. And if not, start walking on your path so you can do so. You was being careless when it came to this situation because you wasn't looking at it for what it was. You was looking at it through eyes of love for some of you. You have to start thinking head over heart. At this, this person was thinking head over heart. Now they're in a situation where they're thinking hard overhead. For some of them, they're wondering if it's too late. And I'm telling you, it is too late. Why? Because if they haven't awoken yet, then they're not going to awaken. Because you have a new beginning coming. You have a new person coming. If you're not working, you're going to get that job you want. If you are working, you're going to get that position you want. You're going to get an upgrade in finances. You have a lot of beautiful things coming towards you that the divine just wants to hand you a cup of love for everything you've been through. But first, you have to let the past go. You have to move forward. Now, this is also says new beginnings. We have a lot of water out here on the board. So your person could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We also have, with the Fool, that's an Aries card. Aries is a fire sign, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We also have Taurus. We have Leo again. You need to have strength in this situation. Inner strength, courage, bravery, confidence. You need to tame and control those feelings you're having. You need to overcome that self-doubt. You need to focus and be persistent and push forward. You need to tame the beast within you. You need to harness that instinct, that desire that you have for this person. You have to properly channel your levito. This is a number four, number eight on the age major arcana. Break that down, that's four. Four represents a twin flame union. You could have a twin flame coming in. And this is a fire card. Can't make this up. Look at the next two cards. The next two cards is the high priestess and the hierophant. You are a high priestess. You are a hierophant. That's number two and five in the major arcana. We have May 15th, May 12th. May 2nd, February, February 5th, February 15th, February 12th, take it as it resonates, the letter J or B could be significant, we have more water out here, we have the moon out here, so there was a lot of secrets and lies that came to the light, you need to use your intuition at this time. You have an inner knowing. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust spirit. You have to find some emotional stability within yourself. And divine is going to help you with that. You will get the knowledge and the wisdom in this situation that you're going through. Things are yet to be revealed to you. But as your spirit guides, they will reveal it to you. You are discovering the truth in this situation. Now, you're a traditional person in a sense, but you're a spiritual person. You're, this person you was dealing with was religious, but also is following, starting to follow their spiritual side. For some, not all. Like, you're a believer. You have knowledge in what I'm saying right now. Why? Because you are a hierophant. You are a high priestess. You have to learn to master yourself. And if you're a man, take it as it resonates because there's no gender in card reading. That means you are a hierophant and you are a high priest. Okay? Now, this person could be someone that you had dealings with, like as if you two were married. You could have been living together. You could have had children together. This is somebody that you was committed to at one point. You used to share your knowledge of knowing with this person. But you need to go out and 
educate yourself. You need to go out with other people. You have to learn other people to learn yourself. In this situation, you have to find yourself. Knowledge is key. You have to believe in yourself. Because of this person, this situation, like you lost belief in yourself. But whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to triumph over it. I promise you that. You gotta always keep God first in your life. February 7th could be significant, and May 7th could be significant. Um, we have July 15th, July 5th, July 2nd, July 12th. We have the chariot. This is an action card, a move forward card, a cancer card. So again, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of water out here. You're going to be successful. You're going to be abundant. But you have to maintain control and self-discipline. And you have to work hard and focus. So you could triumph over everything that is thrown at you. You will progress forward. And the universe is here to help you. You have to master yourself. But you have to have courage in this as well. When sometimes you feel like you can't get up, get up. When you feel like, oh, I'll leave it for tomorrow, don't. Handle it right there and then. If you feel like you can't do it, yes, you can. The whole point is to push forward. Now, we also have a message here. It says, no obstacles will stop me now. And you heard that car rev? That car rev forward. No obstacles will stop me now. Claim it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Look what's to come. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is happiness, family, good times, reunions, homecomings, family gathering, marriage, long-term relationship, stability, security, harmony, abundance, bliss, happiness, happily ever after, caring, children, fun. All this is to come if you let this go. And if you don't stay in this hangman situation, now, give me a like if you like. Claim it in the comment section. I have new beginnings coming. No obstacle will stop me. Claim it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, Collective. I appreciate you. Share this video because you never know who you might help. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to all so you know when I upload. Now, as always, may your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. It's time to tap, tap, tap out, collective. And as always, peace be on to you.